Sarah, there was a time in this campaign when we were talking about three candidates who were the non-traditional outsider candidates who hadn't held elected office before, Donald Trump, Ben Carson, and Carly Fiorina. Now, all the attention is on Mr. Trump and Mr. Carson. Carly Fiorina, your candidate, her polling numbers have fallen. At some point, she was in double digits in national polling. Now she's in low to mid single digits. What happened, and what do you think we can see tonight at the debate here that will change the dynamic for her? Yeah, I think that the horse race polling is really fun for D.C. and for reporters, but, you know, polling in October isn't all that indicative of what's coming. You know, a lot of voters haven't made up their mind yet. They won't make up their mind actually until late January at this point. So right now I think those poll numbers are driven a lot by folks who are looking at headlines. And, uh, and it's true, um, two of those candidates have been very good at, at garnering the headlines. But I think that Carly's message is substantive. I think she is best positioned to lead on the economy and get it going and growing again. And I think that that shines in debate formats like this. Um, her understanding of economic issues and, for that matter, world issues. You know, she probably knows more world leaders than anyone else on that stage. So um, I think voters, in the end, will look for something like that. They're sick of the political class and they do want an outsider, but they're going to want an outsider who uh, can actually follow through and provide the leadership that's needed. As the debate turns to the personal uh, backgrounds of the candidates, is that helpful to, to you as you try to break through or is that not helpful? I think it's important for voters to get to know, especially these outsider candidates, because they haven't been politicians their whole lives. You know, a lot of politicians have spent years finally manicuring their personal narrative, and a lot of the country knows what that is. You know, for Carly, a lot of people don't know that she battled breast cancer, that um, that it was hard. It wasn't, you know, uh, it's it's easy to gloss over some of those personal details. But hearing from her what that was like in her book, um, it really struck me as someone I wanted to go and work for. You know, she lost a daughter, which she mentioned at one of the debates. Um, I think those personal details are important as well, that voters understand what your life has been like, that it wasn't just secretary to CEO. That's an inspiring story. But that along the way, you experience things that a lot of American, Americans experience, um, including addiction issues that are becoming very important in this country. 